But uh, hi, everyone. I'm Anna, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Wait, can you just let me know if you can hear me before I start? Yay. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. We can. Awesome. Um, my husband told me that I had to talk slowly, so as a non-theater lawyer type, that's not easy, but I'm going to try. I am the president of the board, Madam President, if you will. I was a soccer player at Bowdoin, although my room, uh, but through my roommate, I consider myself hockey adjacent. And in that roundabout way, I met Shane, although we never actually overlapped at Bowdoin. When we later met in Portland, I was pulled by his gravity and have always felt like part of the team. I was drawn to speak about its work, not by trauma, but by the positivity that's in the DNA of this organization. And now looking at 10 years of that positive work, I am proud of all of it. I was asked to talk tonight about where we are headed. To be honest, I struggled with that. It is so hard to peer out of this black hole of the current moment. The goals we as a board had for Speak About It a year ago don't feel like the same goals we have now. We have had to focus on survival and that's okay, but there's still a lot more that we wanna do. Now this month, we are, we are starting to be able to look up from our spreadsheets and see these goals again. So what do we want for Speak About It? So glad you asked. We want Speak About It to be everywhere. We want to reach more folks, younger students, adult learners, and beyond because consent education is for everyone. We want to find our place in the national conversation about consent education and set a high, set a high national standard for consent and sex ed work. Actually, we want to be the standard. But we know that when it comes to good, impactful, useful education, we have to do one thing at a time. There are so many communities that need our programs, but we can't widen our scope too quickly because we want to be good at what we do. That means doing our research, building connections, and becoming, ex becoming ex experts, good book. not running towards the next discovered emergency with media attention. We are continuing to focus on our mission and offer intersectional pleasure-focused consent education to more students who need it now more than ever. We are committed to diversifying our board and our team and are working on a plan for, for specific actions we can take. And we are all in a more nuanced national conversation about consent and healthy relationships, leading to fewer sexual assaults in college and beyond. But to do that, we need your help and we need your dollars. I don't need to say how difficult it is right now for an organization whose bread and butter is working with students in schools, but we're not letting that stand in our way. We are $350 away from doubling our goal. So please help us get there. A gift of $20 pays for one hour of work by one of our amazing educators. $50 subsidizes a month of Wi-Fi for our staff who are toiling away in their apartments right now doing their best to reach students where they are all over the world. $100 pays for staff time it takes to set up a new partnership. $500 brings our parent program to a low income school, which as a parent of two young children is especially important to me. So if you have the capacity to give, please do so, so that we can keep our work going and we can get to our vision for Speak About It in 2030. And it's a toast, so cheers. Oh, Yay! Thank you. Oh, thank you, Anna.